Hello students, we have uh, reached almost the end of uh, catalysis and uh, also we have seen uh, in the last class uh, I have started enzyme catalysis under which we have learned characteristics of enzymes and also kinetics of enzyme catalysis. Okay, and the last part remaining in this unit is uh, students factors affecting enzyme catalysis and also catalytic efficiency. These two are short answer questions and we can expect uh, uh, for uh, or as a short answer questions. Okay, so first uh, to start with uh, in this class we are going to learn about various factors influencing the reactions catalyzed by en enzymes. Okay, so it comes under the side heading factors affecting enzyme catalysis under which the first factor is effect of temperature. So generally what we know about uh, the effect of temperature on rate of reaction students generally we know that the rate of reaction it obviously increases as the temperature increases. But here in enzyme catalysis if we observe this is uh, an unfavorable condition for the activity of enzymes which are in the living cells okay we all know that uh, the enzymes are proteinous uh, compounds the increase in temperature causes denaturation of proteins by which uh, the effect of enzyme decreases okay denature of proteins that means they become inactive and hence the effect of enzyme also decreases uh, when once the temperature is increased therefore the reaction the rate of reaction catalyzed by such enzymes uh, uh, i mean by enzymes under such conditions also will be decreased if we observe uh, the uh, enzyme is uh, uh, or shows its maximum activity at an optimum temperature that is 37 degree centigrade. So above 37 that is at or above 45 degree centigrade enzyme becomes deactive, inactive or inactive and also the rate of reaction decreases and more than that that is above 57 degrees, uh, degree centigrade the uh, rate of reaction is still decreasing and almost uh, uh, above uh, 60 or uh, um, at high temperatures like 100 degree centigrade that is maximum temperature the enzyme we find it to be totally destroyed and also its function as a catalyst becomes zero that is what we learn under effect of temperature or the temperature influencing enzyme catalysis hope you understood this factor students okay second factor effect of ph again uh, to take this point students enzymes are proteins as we all know and hence they are uh, uh, sensitive to the changes in ph okay so generally excess uh, acidity or basicity of the medium we observe that uh, uh, denaturation of proteins taking place and hence uh, they it makes the enzymes inactive that means the enzymes lose their uh, activity in excess acidity or basicity of the media why it is happening because of the denaturation of the proteins and also every enzyme it works or uh, its activity is found to be effective at a particular pH we call it as optimum pH okay and most of the enzymes they show their maximum activity uh, at or around neutral pH value and also students few digestive enzymes if we observe uh, they are active either in distinctly acidic or alkaline medium and here two examples i have given about pepsin and also trypsin where they are active and where they do their function the best third factor is effect of concentration <clears throat> if you see this effect of concentration rate of reaction is proportional to concentration of the enzyme okay so uh, it's directly proportional so if it increases it increases if it decreases it decreases that's about effect of concentration next fourth one is effect of inhibitors so we, we all know an inhibitor means it inhibits the uh, 
rate of the reaction. So certain substances which are called as inhibitors, they decrease the rate of uh, uh, the reaction catalyzed by the enzymes. For example, if we see mercury and arsenic, they inhibit the activity of enzymes. So this is about effect of inhibitors students. Hope you understood. So after uh, the factors influencing enzyme catalysis, the last and final topic in this unit we have it as catalytic efficiency. How the catalyst uh, can be increased. Okay, students here, uh, if we see it is, it can be increased by increasing the surface area by which uh, a number of reactant molecules that uh, adsorb on the surface of the catalyst increases. Okay, so the efficiency of a catalyst can be increased by increasing the surface area. So, uh, by increasing the surface area, what can be done students? So, when the surface area of the catalyst is increased, more number of reactant molecules can be adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst. Now, how the surface area can be increased? It is, uh, it can be increased by creating uh, edges, corners, cracks and peaks on the surface of the catalyst. Okay, so by which what happens when this is done, when the edges, corners, cracks and peaks uh, are created, what happens is the atoms located at these places, uh, they can have more number of uh, free valences. So when there are greater number of free valences, uh, greater number of reactant molecules can be adsorbed at these sites uh, and to form the intermediate complex, which we call it as the activated complex. Okay, students. So first, the efficiency of catalyst can be increased by increasing the surface area. So by increasing the surface area, what can be done? more number of reactant molecules can be adsorbed on the surface. So, how this surface area can be increased by creating edges, corners, cracks, peaks, etc. on the surface of the catalyst. So, by doing so, the atoms which are located at these sites, they can have greater number of free valences. So, by this great number of reactant molecules get adsorbed at these sites in order to form the intermediate that is the activated complex. This is These are all interrelated students. So, examples given under this is chemist option of hydrogen or the metal nickel. Okay, so now uh, the adsorption, if we see, it is an exothermic process. Hope you know the meaning of the exothermic process. The heat evolved during this process. Uh, what happens because of this, uh, the uh, bonds within the present, within the molecule, they become weak. Okay, the bonds within the molecule becoming weak means the molecule will be activated and hence its reactivity will be increased students. So, how this is happening? How this is happening? By the heat evolved during adsorption. That we call it as heat of adsorption students. Okay. So, because of the heat, the bonds which are present within the molecule, they become weak and by which the molecule's reactivity will be increased. So, in the above uh, reaction, that is chemist option of hydrogen or nickel, what is happening? Hydrogen gets adsorbed on the surface of nickel or platinum. By this, uh, the bond between two hydrogen atoms. Okay, the bond present between uh, two hydrogen atoms, it becomes weak uh, by which uh, cleavage of the bond takes place and thus the rate of reaction will be accelerated. Okay, students, what is happening ma? when hydrogen is being adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst, the bond between two hydrogen atoms, it becomes weak. Okay, so by becoming weak, what is happening? The bond will be broken by which the rate of reaction will be accelerated. Now, when there are two reactants, okay, so previously we have seen only hydrogen. Now, if there are, for example, if there are two reactants, the reaction may occur or may take place by adsorption of two molecules, uh, uh, one besides the other, that is adjacent to one another, forming an intermediate leading to desorption of products. 
what happens ma when there are two reactant molecules the reaction may occur by adsorption of two molecules adjacent to one another forming an intermediate which leads to the desorption of products in some cases one reactant may be adsorbed and the second reactant attaches to the adsorbed atom okay rather than both the reactants uh, adsorbing on the metal surface okay so one reactant will be adsorbed on the surface ma the second reactant molecule it will attach to the reactant which is adsorbed rather than directly to the metal surface okay so but it is necessary that both the reactants should be adsorbed and products should leave the surface of the catalyst if the product doesn't leave the surface of the catalyst the surface will not be free for the for further reaction and hence what happens for the reaction not taking place means the rate of reaction will be decreased okay understood this sentence in some cases one reactant will be adsorbed and the second reactant attaches to the adsorbed rather than to the metal surface okay but it is necessary that both the reactants should be adsorbed and product should leave the surface of the catalyst otherwise the surface available uh, for further reaction will be reduced and hence by which the rate of reaction also decreases okay students so that's all about uh, catalytic efficiency so these two are the short answer questions which we have learned in this video okay so write down all the points in your notebook students without missing anything because uh, uh, one question we can be expected like uh, write about the factors affecting enzyme catalysis or write about catalytic efficiency so with this we have completed uh, the uh, second unit of uh, this semester that is uh, catalysis okay so please don't waste your time students uh, complete your notes first of all don't think that uh, there are videos so whenever nece whenever necessary you can watch for the explanation but the most important thing is write down all this in your notebook then at the time of the exam to go through once it will be very easy for you but for explanation you can uh, uh, kindly watch the videos again and again and uh, why i am giving uh, all these simple topics also like a video because uh, for example if you in the future if you write after your bsc if you are writing an entrance entrance test in chemistry then all these points will be useful for you okay so keeping all these points uh, in mind i have made this also as a separate video only for the benefits of uh, students okay so you don't watch alone you please share with with your friends who are outside the college and also help them uh, in learning all these topics okay so hope you uh, understood and hope you enjoyed uh, watching this uh, lesson students so take care and stay safe bye bye